This little video is looking at series and parallel resistors. We're going to look at series resistors first. Here's a resistor. I'm using big power resistors so you can see them. Here's a multimeter. It's going to measure resistance. It should be, let's have a look, 10 ohms. Let's try and see. And it is indeed ooh, fairly close to 10 ohms. So according to my multimeter, R1, my first resistor, is about 10.4 ohms. Why is it not exactly 10 ohms? Well, they have a 5% tolerance. So 5% of 10 is 0.5, so that's just about on the edge of its tolerance. Ta-da! Here's my second resistor. It's not the same value. It's 22 ohms, nominally. Let's have a look. So R2 is going to be 22.4 ohms, so it's slightly better tolerance, because 10% is 5%, sorry, 5% 5 of 22 ohms is almost 1 ohm, that's only half an ohm out. Now, we're going to add them together in series, which just means connecting them together. So let's do that in the simplest way possible. Twist the wires together, and let's connect them up and see what happens. So what should we get? Well, our theory says that RT is R1 plus R2, so we should find that RT should be 32.8 ohms. Let's see if it is. So we've connected one, we'll connect the other one, we'll make sure we're a good connection, and mm, not as close as I'd like, but it's not too bad, so that's 32.4 ohms. I imagine the stray resistance in the wires is, is adding a little bit there. What does that actually mean? Well, it means that if I didn't know that was two resistors, if I thought it was just one resistor, like that, and I didn't know what value my one resistor was, so I had a question mark, and I measured my one resistor with my multimeter, I'd say, oh, it's 32.45 ohms. But we actually know it's two resistors. Ta-da! So two resistors act like one resistor as far as the circuit's concerned. And the total of that one resistor is the two resistors added up. Now we're going to look at our resistors in parallel. And this time the equation is slightly more complex, so we'll see if we can use it. But let's measure our resistors again just to check. So here's our first resistor, connect it to our multimeter, and we come up with the same as we did before, which is jolly good. So R1 equals 10.4 ohms. And if we're extremely lucky, we'll find that our other resistance hasn't changed much either. So let's put that one in the circuit. This is the one which was nominally 22 ohms. There it is. And it's R2. Hasn't changed much either. 22.4 ohms, we'll call that. It keeps changing slightly. And now we're going to connect them together into parallel. So we take our two resistors, we put them next to each other, just twist the ends up, and twist the other ends up. So now they're in parallel. And the question is, what value is that going to give us for our unknown resistance. If we had one resistor, what would that resistor be? Well, we're going to need some heavy equipment here. We're going to need a calculator. Here's my calculator, and we'll do a little calculation to work out the resistance. So we're going to take the first resistance, 10.4, and use the inverse button just here, one over. We're going to add that to the second resistance, 22.4, inverse of, so that's our, that's our sum, just there and just there. We're going to see what that equals. And a lot of people make a mistake at that point. They write down that this is the resistance, but it's not. I've done this part of the sum and this part of the sum. So what I've got is 1 divided by the total. So this number here is 1 divided by the total. So to get the total, do 1 over equals, and we get a value of 7.1. That seems reasonable. So let's write that down. This is our prediction. So RT 
equals 7.1 ohms. Notice that when you have two resistors in parallel, the total is always less than the smallest resistor. Let's see how good our value was. So we'll get our multimeter, moment of truth. Oh yes, it was 7.1 for a moment. That's awesome. We're going to call that success. Again, the slight differences are I've changed the connections, there's resistance in the connections. So what that means is, if I wanted a single resistor to have the same effect as those two resistors in parallel, I would choose a 7.1 ohm resistor. But I don't have a single resistor, I have two. But they act like one in the circuit.